Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I make uh, dragonfly wings out of stained glass and solder, just like these. Yep. Okay guys, how are you all doing? This is uh, Jordy at Carbon Fusion. So here it is. It's going to be the Dragonfly wing, uh, wing Stained Glass. How to mess up your stained glass video. Like I already messed up this piece. You know, I cut it there with the glass cutter and it broke this way. So anyways, let's get this video started. In this, in this video here, I'm going to be showing you all the basic tools for stained glass. And for all the stained glass pros, I'm definitely not a stained glass pro. I'm absolutely 1 billion percent a stained glass rookie okay but i'm going to try and show the basic ways how to do the stained glass so what we do is we got our dragonfly wing pattern here okay i'm going to cut this out but with stained glass guys i'm going to try and explain something maybe you if you got a saw you can cut out in here whatever but i'm going to have to cut this out like this it's each separate wing okay one two okay and here's my cut line. So I'll cut these, these wings out as two pieces because, well, you can cut, like I said, ah, forget it. I'm just going to cut it into two pieces. Okay, you can see I got my wing cut out here. The top, the front wing's bigger. Whatever, you can make your back wing bigger. So now I'm going to cut this line here and make it into two pieces, okay? Because, well, yep, again, whatever. Okay, so I got it cut into two pieces now. So... Later on in the video, guys, I'm going to have to solder these two pieces together, okay? So then you get one sold wing. Or you guys can give your dragonfly two separate wings. It doesn't matter, but I kind of like mine to be together. Okay, so the stained glass is kind of like chainsaw carving for me. There's so much different variables. There's different thicknesses of glass. There's different tempers of glass, like different like hardnesses. Different, different this, different that, different this, different that. And I'm not as knowledgeable to figure all that stuff out. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it, guys. That's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is place this these uh, templates on my um, stained glass. Okay, you try and figure out a best place to put them to use the least amount of your stained glass for waste, right? So I'm gonna put these on here, and I'm gonna give it a thick black outline with my uh, once again marker, black marker. Yep, sharpie. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to do four sets, okay? So two sets. So there'll be four cuts all together. And this is the part that gets really tricky is cutting it, in my opinion. Again, whatever. Sting loss. Yep, pro. Amateur pro. Okay, guys, you can see here I got my templates drawn on, okay? So these are glass cutters. This is stuff I bought before I started wood carving, guys. So I had all this stuff around. That's why I'm making these videos. But these are glass cutters. There's different brands and makes like uh but you guys can buy these on amazon and these ones take oil on the back okay so there's oil that sits in here special oil and guess what i don't have any so i'm going to be using these things without the oil <laughs> so you get this kind that goes like this and this head will spin okay like that or you get this one and yeah it's standing up one right so you got to cut it like this and this one has that little Okay, whatever, let's just uh, continue. So here's some uh, stained glass things. This has like kind of rubber on this side so it will stick to the glass better, like rulers. Or you can get one like this too. So you can get a true, a true 45 cut here or 90 degree cut, whatever it's called, right? Because it's got this ledge on it. And it's the same thickness of the glass. Sometimes, most times, I guess, maybe. Okay, so anyways, um, let's let me figure out uh, I'm going to do this and I don't screw up these wings because if I do I got this extra piece here and I got this extra piece here but let's see if we can do it without uh, breaking these because it does get a little bit tricky I think okay so I got these four pieces on here here's two large ones two smaller ones I'm just going to use this my 45 and I'm going to use this uh, standing up pen. And you guys, you got to you got to apply pressure too, right? If you do, don't put enough pressure when you're cutting the glass. When you go to break it, it could well not break that. Uh, it could break like this, right? You can see here, I cut it, and I went to break it, and look, it took off this way. So, whatever. 
is like it when I say whatever. Okay, so let's give this a cut. Yeah, just like a pro. Okay, so now you get these special pliers for stained glass, okay? You see here, there's a little bevel on this top one, okay? And there's a center line right here, okay? So you put this center line, you see this bevel, like it kind of goes down and down, like goes down this way, whatever. I gotta stop saying whatever, sorry guys, but you can see it. So when I push, when I put it on this center line, okay, it's gonna push it this down and this down. Some people break it like this too. Guys, again, I'm not a pro, so also you got these little these little weights on the back of your pens. So you can to help the glass break, you can just tap it like this. Oh, well, maybe I did that a bit too much. So you can see here I already screwed up one of my goddamn wings. Fuck. Yeah, that's a bummer. These wings don't have to be perfect anyways. So I'm going to cut along all these lines here. That's what I'm going to do first and get try and get each separate wing out of here. And you guys, I think the best stained glass for you to learn on is just the thin, real thin white stuff. Because you can get that stuff at your glass stores too, right? So I'm along the line here. Yeah, I know I should have the oil in my cutter, but I don't have the oil here and I want to get this done, so... I know you're not supposed to do it twice too, guys. There's a channel of uh, a gentleman, an older fellow and his wife that have uh, stained glass uh, videos. And actually, they're pro stained glass uh, people, guys. And I'm going to, I don't know the name of the channel. Uh, Goop, Goop. I'll, I'll find it and I'll talk about it in a minute here, their channel. But they have lots of real pro tips and for beginners, how to do stained glass. Because this video is just kind of for like a joke, I guess. Okay, you can see all the cuts in there. So now let's do this. Okay, so we're going to put that line up top. Come on, baby. See? Perfect cut. Come on, baby. Perfect cut. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got a home run. Okay, let's see if this one works. We got a grand slam, guys. We got a grand friggin' slam. Okay, guys, so I got all my pieces cut. So you had to see I have to redesign that the ends will be like, the wings will be like this instead of round because I broke that one piece. So I just, I'm just readjusting, okay? So um, the Wood Staining Pros, their YouTube link. Damn it, I forgot to look up the name. I will in a minute. But they say to always keep your area clean of the glass because you'll get little shards of glass and over here i have a pile of pieces just like this right so always wipe it and keep it clean okay so now i gotta find my other pair of players oh okay hold on a second i'll be back okay you can see so since i'm no pro on all these pieces i gotta chip off all this glass here right this is these extra edges this one went okay but you see there where I cut it, I gotta chip that off. So that's what these players come in handy, okay? These are stained glass players. See how this, that one side on the left, sorry, this one side on the left here is round? That goes on the bottom. So you just uh, go like this, put it on the line, and just give it a little. This is probably where I'll screw up again, okay? There's a name for these players. Now myself, I'm not going to worry too much about getting this perfect with these pliers because I have an electric grinder I'll show you in a bit. I'm probably doing this all wrong too. You 
see kind of how that works? You got all these glass shards, right? Keep sweeping it over. So I'll get all these done. This is what really makes a real mess, these things. The little glass shard, it sucks when you get them stuck in your fingers too. Nice. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Okay, so I'll get all these done and then, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so here's the name of the YouTube studio that uh, I enjoy their videos about stained glass. It's uh, Elder, um, not Elder, but they're older. They've been doing it forever. Gom, G-O-M-M, -M, stained glass on YouTube. I'll try and leave a uh, link to their channel below. So I enjoy their videos anyways. I think they're pretty entertaining. Um, so here we got uh, the two sides of the, the dragonfly wings. Okay, so I got uh, one B and one C. Okay, two B and two C. So I got them numbered, so I remember where they go, right? I got a little arrow pointing up, so I know this is the bottom. So you guys, you can see here, my unprofessionalism. You know, like this is a nice cut, but down here with that little chipper, I kind of screwed it up. And I'm not going to try, I'm not a pro, guys. Like I said, I'm a freaking hack at this stuff, right? So you got, wait, this is a special file for stained glass. I don't know what it's called. I just call this stained glass file, okay? So you go like this. To get all those bumps away right so you just kind of i don't even know if i'm doing this right and i don't really care because i just get things done right that's what you do you got to do is just get things done okay so but i don't know you can you can see if you can if you have this is like a stone guys it's not like a metal file but anyways let's stop wait, waste our time with this this thing i got uh electric thing with a diamond wheel so let's hook, get that hooked up and i'll show you um how it works Okay, guys, so this is a diamond wheel stained glass grinder. It's old school. One of my ex-girlfriends gave it to me. So, I haven't used it too much, but here's the make. You guys can find these for cheap, for like under a couple hundred bucks online. Um, it's plugged in. It's got a power switch right here. All underneath this shelf is water in there. Okay, and behind the diamond wheel here, I don't know what grit this is. There's a foam thing here, right? So this foam thing sucks up the water that's down here and it applies it to the diamond wheel when you're grinding your um, rough edges, right? This isn't really for shaping. This is just for grinding off the rough edges. So um, you guys, I also think, you know, like you, not, most of you aren't going to be able to buy this tool or want to buy it, but like you got this file here that you can get stained glass stores or online, or I think you can use these... Um, Diamond, it's, this diamond thing is the same as this, right? This is a diamond diamond burr. You get them in these packs. You see the bigger ones? And you can use, you can clean the edge up with this, with your Dremel. But I suggest you kind of do it underwater or definitely a million percent wear your dust mask because you don't want these glass particles getting into your lungs. So, but I think this would work too, you know, just for, for an easy way out to get it done. So um, let's uh, turn this on. I'll set up my phone and we'll kind of just kind of hit these a little bit and show you for a few seconds. So here's like a glass backing, plexiglass, and I don't know, just whatever. Okay, guys, like I said before, I'm no pro at this. I'm no pro at anything I do anyways. So um, you see this rough edge here? Right? Because you you're going to be putting foil tape on this, so you want to get it fairly clean. You see how rough it is there? You want to get it fairly clean. So let's turn it on and you just kind of I'm probably doing this wrong too, but I don't care. Try and zoom in here. Oops. Oops. Okay, so let's get rid of this bump here. Oh, 
bump be gone. Okay, so I'll finish this off and then I'll be back and show you the next step. Hey Alexa, play a Curve Infusion video. I couldn't find any enabled video skills that can do that. Go to the Alexa. Why don't you stop talking? Stop talking, Alexa. Okay, Alexa, why don't you play? For help with that question, go to the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. Hey, Alexa, I think you're a little bit out of date. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, what are you sure of? I do my best to understand everything I can. I'm always learning. Alexa, you need to learn harder. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, you're fired. Aw, oh, man. Alexa, go away. Okay, guys, so now you can see that uh, we got our wings done as good as, uh, well, I can do, I guess, kind of, sort of. So now what you need to do, you need to make sure these things are perfectly bone dry after you, if you got one of those die grinders, like I showed you. So now what you need to do is you get this copper foil, okay? You buy it on Amazon or your local glass. You guys also, too, you know, I was supposed to, I've never gotten, uh, gotten trained by stained glass. I was supposed to go to a, a stained glass course with one of my other ex-girlfriends, but uh, we broke up before we could actually go to the course. So, but anyways, guys, like you can go to those courses pretty cheap. And if you, if, if, if you, if, if this is something that you kind of want to get into, go take one of those courses. They're pretty fun to take, but I'm not going to go one by myself. I'm just kind of not into that kind of thing, but guys go do it. Anyways, here's this foil stuff. So I'm going to show you how to, how I guys, again, I'm no pro how I put the foil on the outside edges. Of this stuff because you need to put this this uh, copper foil on to be able to solder these together okay okay guys so this is copper foil tape okay so there's a paper backing you can see I've already separated it you don't want to touch this sticky stuff too much in here because you want to make it really good stuck to the sides of your uh, stained glass right so this is what the guy said on uh, what's that go video he's you kind of just start it you got to make sure with this tape, okay? See this tape? You got to make sure it's equal on both sides for when you put it together. So this is really hard for me to do filming. Fold that over. Okay, so. I'm sure it's going to zoom in and zoom out. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So there. See how it's too far over on this side? You want to make that tape equal to the center of this. So let's pull it off. Like I said, guys, this is a lot harder for me now that I'm filming, right? Okay, so it's on there, so we'll push it on. Okay. Excuse me. And then we'll just wrap it around the whole thing. There's easier ways to do this, but this is the way. And always look at the tape when you're doing it, I got told. Well, I watched. Fold it over a bit here. Okay, stick it on the sides. So see how I'm centering it? The copper foil in the center of the glass. Okay, just give it a little wrap. Bust it off. Pull that back off and just make sure they're lined up nice. Like this one and this one. And if they're not, you can also use a razor blade to take it off. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, see it's all on there. I'm going to fold it over with my fingers and push it on. Okay. You'll have the corners. You're going to have to push the corners down. And that piece just keeps coming off there. Just like I said, guys, I'm no pro at this. I don't even really know what I'm doing. So let's push it down here. Okay, so you can get a thing called, like it's a, 
you can see it's all on there right but you have to make sure this copper foil this copper tape foil stuff is really pushed down good to the stained glass so they say that you can use like a, there's a special tool for it but you can use a, a sharpie and you just kind of got to go along let me zoom in here please you got to go along and push it down really good tight get it taped on there really good right because you don't want any solder to go underneath you don't want any solder to go underneath this tape because then it will make a real nightmare kind of thing but it's a fun project guys and you can buy you can buy the basic tools for fairly cheap right and they do sell stained glass for on uh, amazon i saw Okay guys, so I'll get all this done. I'll get all these done and then you'll see what happens next. Okay guys, so this is where it gets real with stained glass, how to do stained glass, okay? So, I got all the copper foiling done. It's all tight on there, the corners are folded over good. It's not perfect. I'm not perfect, so this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now this, we're gonna be doing some soldering. This is a solder gun. Whatever you guys have will work. It's a wheeler. Like I said, I bought all this stuff before I was doing my wood carving. You get the bigger one. I got a smaller one over there. You got solder. The solder that I got told to use for beginners or whatever is 60-40. Um, See it on the left there? 60-40. I don't have much of this bigger stuff left because, well, I wasted it all on my tree. So... I'm not too good at the soldering, but if you're if you're a welder, you know how to weld, this will really help you doing this too, right? But anybody can do it, guys. If I can do it, like, trust me. So this is Old Masters Stained Glass Flux. Guys, you have, to, when you're doing the soldering, you have to flux your solder. When you, you have to put it on here, okay? So look how old this brush is. I'll sell this sucker for $40 billion. It's an antique. Look at it. Rustier than all, all rusty. So what I'm going to do now is pour this uh, flux. You guys can use any flux you want to. I don't know. Just like uh, this is what I have from before. I'm going to pour a little bit into this uh, container here. I'm going to use this brush to flux it on here. I'll heat up the heat gun and we'll start soldering. Uh-oh. Okay, guys. You guys can see this stuff's like water, liquid. Or you can get the flux in gel, right, for the old paintbrush. I got my solder gun hooked up to my solder stand. Here's a foam in here. It's wet. Pour water in there. Okay. And that's how you clean the solder off your tip. Put it on the wet foam. So I'll get this all, let this all heat up and then we'll uh, start. Continue. Sorry guys. See how I got these marks on here? A mark here and a mark there. And then over on this side, a mark here and a mark there. Because I got to take these wings apart. And I got to solder all the way around here, okay? But I want to make sure not to solder inside this part because that's going to be, I'll solder it together, right? Because if I put solder along here and here before I put them together, it might, might not be such a good fit, like, you know what I mean? Even though it's not a great fit anyways now, but anyways, okay. Continue. Okay, guys, you can see I got my pliers here for this piece to stand up straight so I can put the flux on it. And solder a nice bead on here, right? So we'll put the flux on it, get it on there good. Guys, like I'm very, very rookie at soldering. So let's try and get this on. Get some on your tip there. Don't worry about it being messy when you first put it on because you can take a pass over it later. Okay, so see there's one done. Now let's do the other side. Put your solder on. Make this tight. You guys can use boards to make these. They got special holders. Okay, so I'm going to sit down now so I can do a better one this time. Okay. And this extra solder that, that falls down, you can just pick it up with your, you can pick it up after with your solder thing. 
Okay, so let's get it down on the uh, sides here. I already, I already flexed it. See, I'm picking up these pieces. There you go. Okay, so then once it, uh, carefully you don't burn yourself, look over the whole piece, and yeah, look what I did. I uh, soldered where I wasn't supposed to here. That's okay. It's a pretty tight solder. It's not that thick, so I'll get these done. Unless you guys want to see me, so I'll do another one more solder. Okay, so get your brush. Put your flux on it. I'm dipping it in the flux right now. Put it on. Okay, and I don't know if, I should, if it's better to be going downhill or uphill, but I'm going downhill because it runs downhill. Okay. There we go. Spin her over. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, always remember to do your flux, guys. Maybe you don't have to. I don't know, but I do. Spin her over, and let's do the other side. Okay, so let's do this top side. Flux. Pick some up that you don't need. Okay, and let's just do these flat sides. Keep her over. Should already still have flux on it. Okay, so there you guys go. It's all done. And you can clean up if you think it looks too bumpy or whatever, like this end here. See that? You can just give it, hit it, give it a little touch. Clean it up. Okay. Don't worry about this stuff. It will all come off. Now I'll get these done. Okay, guys. So I got to say, um, I'm actually quite proud of myself because I haven't done this soldering too much, but I think I did a pretty good job and it's pretty tight. I didn't use that much solder at all. Just like anything else, guys, the more that you do, the better you'll get, right? So now we got to solder these two together, right? Like solder, solder these two pieces together, then solder these two pieces together. Okay, you can see here, like this one's bigger than this tip. I don't, I don't care. Okay, so once again, more flux. Some people might just tack this, flip it over and tack the other side, but I don't really care. This is how I'm doing it. Just put your uh, thing on there. Okay, so my thing, I'm just wiping it on the foam, foam thing. Cleaning it a bit. Nice straight pass. Okay, let's do it with this one. We've already fluxed it. Okay, so we'll let this dry for a second. You can see, if I if you could see on here, it kind of dips in the middle like a ditch. No big deal. We'll come and solder this piece, this side. Okay. Flip back over. We'll just fill that ditch just a little bit. 
flip this one back over. There you go. Okay, so that's that. I'll let these dry. Look, I can move them now. I'll let them dry. You can see they're not perfect, but they're going to be, there's going to be a piece of wood here. Pretend this is a, a stick, right? So it doesn't matter with these ends if they're not good because I can carve deeper in there to tuck it in under to hide that and then hide that. Okay. So one more step. Okay, guys, there, so our solder's all uh, good to go. So now I got this crafting wire. It's artistic, artistic wire. It's 22 gauge. It's really thin. So I think how you tell by the gauge, by a channel I fold, if you get 22 of these pieces, it would fit inside of an inch round piece. But I'm not too sure how that works. Anyways, this guy, this stuff looks silver, but the inside of it is copper, okay? So there's a thing for it. We're going to make the veins in the things we're gonna make the veins and the wings now too okay so but anyways if you want to take a screenshot I got this at uh, on Amazon too so what I'm gonna do now is just cut some pieces with these little bullshit things that what with these little things I bought try and cut the same pieces okay they don't all need to be the same side size but whatever Okay, so we got four of those. Let's make a few longer ones now. It's all just really about having fun, guys. If you're not having fun and you're too stressed out doing something, don't do it. You're going to stress out when you're learning a bit. But nah, you only get better. And you don't, you don't get better if you don't learn, if you don't try, right? We all, if we're not those born a natural artists, we all struggle with it. Okay, so but look guys, I'm no, I've never been to any classes. I've just watched YouTube videos how to do this. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll get like one of these little pieces here. Let me zoom in and we'll do this wing here. Okay, so we want to put this like, well. Once again, I'm just going to give it a little bit of flux. I'm sure there's going to be lots of people watching this video that are, are um, soldering iron pros that are going to be like, what is that guy doing? Well, give it a little touch of flux here. Yeah, you can leave in comments what I did wrong and what you think I did right, and other people will read it. Maybe it will help them too. Okay, so there's one. Now let's get uh, one of those longer ones here. Um, let's see here. Let's just do this wings. These wings, like, uh, let's see. You can do it any way, any way you want, guys. I'm kind of getting rushed here, so I'm getting the uh, little wires confused. Okay, so there's one. Now let's do the other one the opposite way. Okay, again. And you can even use little pliers to hold these wires down or whatever to avoid getting your hands burnt. But Okay, we've got some solder on there. Let's give it a hit. So on, give this side a hit. I'm so far away from the thing, I can't see if it's on. Spin it around. Get some solder on your thing. Struggle, struggles real, guys. Okay, that's, I can see it's connected. There you, there you go. Okay. Spin it back around. Get one of those longer pieces. Okay. 
flux here, flux there. Can you guys see? Let's give it a hit. And give it a hit here. There. Now we'll need one more small piece. Let's see if we can get this to fit in here. Perfect. Okay, again, flux is already flux on my brush. Flux. Okay, up front. There you go. There's some veins in a wing. Okay, so I'll do this uh, other side first when I still have the same size little pieces. I'll do this side, try and make it like this one. Well, it won't be perfect, but it'll be good enough. Okay, guys, so here they are, they're all finished. So you, when you do something like this, you want to make sure you really get the tape sticky onto the glass on the glass side, right? Because if it's not sticky, then it could, when you solder here, it can ride up. It can lift, try and lift the, the tape up, so that would lift the solder up too. There's a couple little tiny spots where it happened here. You can kind of see right here. Not a big deal though, for me anyways. So I will have to soon find a piece of, piece of wood, a stick. To put these dragonfly wings in for the dragonfly challenge. Guys, another thing too, that you can patina this this uh, solder too, right? You can get co copper color. I just happen to have a black patina here. And I have this little piece. I just did to patina it to show you guys. So um, just let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I'll stick a brush in there. It's, it's just like liquid. Whoa. And then we'll just wipe it on. Really good. And look how black it's already going, that silver. Here, watch. Hold on. Okay. Boom. Patina. Now it's black. So I'll wait to see what happens with this dragonfly. If I want to uh, patina the uh, stuff, solder, or not. There. Well, that side's not patinaed, but you can see it. There. You can see that side's done. You guys, you can also make little pieces like this and solder them all together and make yourself a wind, a tree hanger, a wall hanger, whatever. You know, so there it is, guys. Hope uh, this video is able to help somebody. I know I'm not no pro at this kind of stuff, but it's just about uh, challenging yourself and having a good time. That's all.